Hey guys, it is Admin, and I am in the Ocarina of Time map. This is kind of a, a different episode. We're going to actually be building something in this episode together. So I'm here with Astro, Hello. and yeah. So we are in 15W49A, and we have something very, very special that you've probably never, ever seen before. So would you care to explain what that is? Basically, um, the... We're showing a method that allows you to cut a play sound before it's finished. Yes, that is correct. So, let's just do a quick demonstration, I guess. So, we have the play sound. It's Zelda.SOW, which is the serenade of water. It is the longest play sound clip that we have, and it takes forever to finish. And you can hear it right now. So, normally I'd have to wait for it to end, but... If you would like to just press the button. And it didn't work. Oh, there we go. Here, let's try that again. There, okay, it stopped. Interesting. Huh. I guess I have to press the button. Not you. Not me? Uh, not you. Not I you. Not permission? Yep, anyway. So, that's what we have. Now, we just need to do something with it. All right, so we've made some progress. We're setting up a reset or stop sound method, as you can see on the right. So what that is, we can set it to like a scoreboard of five or something, and you'll see it falls to zero again. So what we're doing, we are having this right here, that if you have a score of one, it sets it, well, it removes one of them, but then we have a whole bunch of conditional chain commands that all do the, the play sound command that cancels this. And what that means is if we do this, every single one of these commands fires five times and then turns back off. Now, this is a lot better than the previous one we were doing with like the redstone lines because there's no set block commands, there's no redstone wire turning on and off. So it should be less leggy overall and also more consistent. So you can see if we do this, and then that, it stops right away. Now the reason why we're having it activate five times is just in case there's other commands going on, it should... Like, like a door? Or yeah. A, uh, I don't know. We found that if you had a door sound and the song sound at the same time, then you would actually end up sometimes canceling the door sound, and the song would still play, which isn't what you want. So now, we just need to figure out, um, so we have our cancel method, now we just need to figure out an activation method for different songs, and then we're done. So, we will work on that and be right back. Alright, so, we actually now have made a whole lot of progress in entire four commands, yes. So, you've already seen our deactivation method, now we have an activation method. And that actually is quite interesting. So what we're doing, we have two commands. Our first one is our deactivation method, and it sets your score to 5. The second one is an activation method that gives you a score of 7, which is obviously a higher number than 5. So when you step on this, you get a score of 5 and 7. The 5 counts down 5 times until it gets to 0, canceling your sound as and just, it cancels it, yes, you know that. But when we get our score of 7, this waits until you get a score of 1. Boy, this is probably getting kind of confusing. But anyway, when you get a score of 1, then it turns on the song. Meaning that this is already done canceling when this one um, activates. So if we just step over this, you can hear it activates. And what song is this? If you can see on and the right. Time. I see. Okay. Now if we step on this again, we just cancel it and restarted the song. So you can see it's perfectly consistent as far as I can tell. So now we just need to put this up in the Temple of Time, which is that way. And then we're good to go. So we do need to still figure out what method of activation we're going to go with but that shouldn't be that hard. Well guys, 
a lot of time has passed since that last clip. For one, well, it's been about nine days. So, what have we done here? Well, if you remember from the last clip, and you probably have an easier time remembering than me, we only had a couple commands around here, but now we have quite a lot more than one. And let's just go see what they do. Also, you might notice something different about the different stone textures. We're currently experimenting with having a slightly browner stone. And if we go towards the Temple of Time, which is this way, we still have something happen. But first, I'm going to take a short cut. Alright, let's just head in here. And now we have nature sounds. Okay. Because out here, all it does is little nature sounds. And this is randomized. So I think it sounds pretty good. Um, now we can just come in here and... And eventually the song will start up. Or should start up. But it didn't. That's weird. But you can notice that the nature sounds turned off. So... Now that we went back across, it's doing nature sounds again. And if we head over here, we get annoyed by the ever looping song. And you can see every time you go in and out, it will loop it again. So, now I just need to apply different songs to different areas. And you probably can't even hear me over that, but that's okay. Alright, so you're probably wondering how this works, so let me explain. For starters, we have um, the clear sound thing. Now this Simply, when you get a clear sound score, it will do all of these, um, like, blank sound effects five times. So all of these get activated five times. That, then, will turn off any sound that's currently playing. So that, ha that happens first. Then, depending on which of the sounds we want to play, they will get started. So if you get a score of, say, Temple of Time of one, then it will start the Temple of Time music. Well, if you get a score of random nature sound, then you'll get random nature sounds playing. Simple as that. So now I just want to explain how they actually work. Now, they actually work by using a slightly complicated method. So like random nature noises. We have an ambient timer going on. And what that does is when you actually have the correct score, it will simply play the sound, but we have two timers going on. Now, you might be wondering why we have two timers going on. That's actually because, to make it more random, what we did, like, so we have ambient timer 1 and ambient timer 2. One of them counts up to 17, right here, and the other counts up to 23, making them kind of offset in their sounds. So there's actually quite a few different combinations that the tweaks, or whatever they are, can happen in. And then, in our sound file area, if I actually do a play sound, um, let me actually grab the right sound, you'll um, hear the... Where is my play sound? Is it that one? No. Weird. I have not looked at this red for, redstone for so long, but... Ah, uh, here we go. Day ambient. So, if we actually look at this, you can hear there are, I think, like 13 different sound effects that can be played, making it even more random. And lastly, we have the market, and this is a pretty short song. So, what we ended up doing, we have, like, the start market thing. So, we, we start the market, and start with a sound. And then we have a timer that also starts. 
and that timer, after a certain amount of time, because that's what the timer does, will then cut off your sound and start playing it again so it loops. Thing is, if you try to get the timer to like seamlessly do it, it is impossible because unfortunately, redstone lag exists. So yeah, that's our whole system. And I think I'm just going to end the episode here because I have a working sound system. And anyway, if you've liked the episode, make sure to leave a like and I will catch you guys in the next episode, which will probably be Dodongo's Cavern. See you guys in the next episode.